So, you want to name the rays in the figure. Um, what this figure, what we have is, we have a line, and the line is containing these three points that I'm giving names to, L, M, and P, even though we know a line contains infinite many points. But what we want to do is we want to label the rays that are contained in this figure. So remember, a ray is a portion of a line that has an endpoint, but then continues infinitely in one direction. So when looking at this, I can label my ray as going through um, many different points. And I'm going to use two points to make sure that I can represent the ray going through those two points as one point is going to be an endpoint, and but then it's going to go infinitely through the other point. So a couple, let's start with L as our endpoint. So if I want L to be my endpoint, I could say that L is the endpoint, and it can go through M and then continue on infinitely. So I could label LM, and then what I'll do is I'll have a, a line with one, only one arrow in it containing that its endpoint is at L, and then it contains infinitely to M. Now. Similarly, to actually label kind of that same ray, I could actually also use L. And rather than labeling it M, I could say LP. And that's actually going to give me that exact same ray, but it's a different way of, um, it's a different way of labeling the, the exact same ray. And then I can look at, let's look at now M being my, my ray. So if M was my ray, I can go in two different directions. I can go to MP, and I can go to opposite direction, ML. So the main important thing that I want you to see about this is that I'm writing my endpoint first. So if it goes to this direction, that's your MP. It starts at M, and then it goes through P infinitely. And then for this one, ML, it starts at M, and then goes through point L infinitely. And the last ones I could write is if I had my P as my endpoint, where I could go P going through M and P going through L, which again, you can see they're just going through different points. However, the ray, since they go through the points infinitely, is going to be the exact same ray. So I could write PM, and I could also write, uh, there we go, PL. And just make sure, again, that I notice that I have my endpoints first going through the second point infinitely. And there you go. There's an example of some rays from our given line, our given figure, uh, line LM or LP or however else you want to say. So there you go. If you have any comments, questions, please let us below. Thanks.